Hello, I'm Brian Prusa with Overcoming Obstacles to Health. I'm doing something a little bit different today. Uh, I, I do a lot of paddle boarding and there's other people I know do it and a lot of people ask questions about how to paddle on a paddle board. Uh, proper use of the paddle uh, and also form and function while on a paddle board. Um, so, there's different, thing, different points that you may have already seen already, but I, for this video, I can't quite fit it in here, but I have this blade down on the ground to adjust the paddle length. And when I reach up where it feels a comfortable position, probably a little bend in my elbow, and then grabbing the top of that, I want to adjust that height. And then when you're grabbing your paddle, Finish way you grab it, you can grab it on the end here, and then I'll bring my arms up and I'm trying to get like the 90 90. And if you're not sure, you can't quite see that, have somebody um, look at you and say, Hey, you've got both 90s on the elbows, and you can put a little piece of tape or something like that here. So I've got this little makeshift thing, I do a lot of balance stuff, so don't try this at home. It's part of my skateboarding practice as well. But uh, anyways, I want to focus a little bit when people, the videos I've seen people do uh, when they're on the water and things like that, it's a little harder to see the uh, form and so on. So the idea is that I'm going to be in a position like this. I'm going to have both my arms straight. So it's going to look kind of like that in this position. Now, if I keep my paddle at an angle like this and I paddle, it's going to make me turn. So I'm facing this way. As I paddle this way, it's going to start making me turn. I'm going to get off course quite easily. So if I can get a little straighter, now that takes some practice because effectively it becomes kind of like a little bit of a side bend to try to get this lined up. Put a little bend in the knees so that way I can keep weight back on this uh, what right foot or the left foot in the video you're looking at there. And so as I get my arms straight, then I can go through my stroke. I can't do it right here because I'm on the ground. I'm going to step up. So you can start with the feet about hip width distance apart, maybe a little bend in your knees so that way you can be loose. If the waves are happening or boat comes by, keeping your knees a little bit relaxed will allow you just to roll or allow the board to roll. If you stiffen up, you're going to push on one side and it's going to tip. So I want to get my arms straight, like I mentioned when I was down on the ground. And then the idea is, as I'll turn this way, is I have my arms straight and I start to bend forward, kind of like I'm a drinking bird and to fall. Now I don't have water here, but the, as soon as I start to put my paddle in the water, it'll give me a little more balance. I don't want to reach forward just to reach more and then stroke through the air. I wasted part of my effort in my stroke. So as, as I get my arms straight, as I come out, I bend forward, push it straight down into the water, and then I fall, kind of like I'm, pretend like I'm falling forward, the weight shifts into the balls of the feet, doing that kind of motion. Now you can put a little bend in your knees, depending on how that works for you. And then here, I'm trying to straighten it out. So I'm trying to do all that in the motion. Now what I can do too is, because if I, I don't want to stroke too far past. So if I stroke too far past and I'm dragging my paddle effectively, that's going to slow me down. So as soon as I get past my feet a little bit, I could pull it out. If you see from the other view, as I pull it, I could move it out to the side a little bit. I don't have to move it quite that far but I'm just showing you it's going out. So I might do something like this, a little movement. So, and I can even rotate that paddle just a little bit as I come out. So oh, I hit the mini blind, whatever. And that was my waves. So this is kind of the concept of doing it. So it's kind of like you're falling forward. It takes a little practice to get used to that. One thing that'll help um, too is warming up and getting uncomfortable with the legs and the feet and you can do staggered positions with the feet. So I can have one foot forward. I'll have to find my balance, you know, forward and back on the board. I could turn the feet just a little bit 
and then I can paddle here. So I can do this paddle, I do the same kind of thing, I bend, but it's a little funky angle, so you have to get used to that. And I could switch the paddle around, and I could come around this side. I'm still, hips are kind of at an angle on the board, and I'm facing. Or I switch my feet, so maybe I bring them back together, or to the center of the board, and then carefully switch. A little bit of an angle, or if you're doing a surfing style, that's a little more practice because then it becomes all heel to toe on your, your, on your practice here for balance on the board. So those are some things that, that I like to practice and hopefully you found that beneficial. I'll do another video on how to pump up a paddle board. Um, it usually takes me about five or six minutes and there's ways you can do it using a lunge, use, dropping your hips and using your body weight to help you be more productive with your energy. Or you can buy an electric pump. <laughs> Personally, I like it as a little bit of a workout. So if you like this video, please do so, like it, and subscribe. And I also have Facebook and Instagram pages as well. Or you can go to brianpruzo.com, and that has the hyperlinks. And I also have some classes, yoga and functional uh, fusion classes as well. And I always add in some little videos and so on for um, countering the sitting posture or working the wrist and the ankles and so on as well that I'm focusing on right now. So thank you so much. Hope that was informative for you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know.